We've had a string of dry days with beautiful weather that ends today. We are going to see scattered showers and storms and they'll continue off and on for the next several days. Let's get straight to it. Here's a live look outside over Midtown and downtown Atlanta. Partly sunny skies, no rain right now, but that is going to change. Temperatures right now right around 83 degrees will climb to the upper 80s. So it will be warm. It will be humid. And then later on, it will be wet. Here's a look at CBS 46 pinpoint radar. Again, no rain yet, but as we head to the three o'clock, four o'clock hour, we'll start to see those showers and storms develop. Some could briefly become strong, especially in the North Georgia mountains where we are under a level one risk of severe weather. Look at four o'clock. What a change just four hours from now will make. You'll notice it's not widespread, not everyone getting wet, but certainly those pop-up showers and storms will continue through North Georgia. Some of the strongest storms over the North Georgia mountains. That risk of severe weather confined to that northern fringe of the state. It is a level one risk, so it is a low risk, but certainly could see some heavy downpours on top of that strong damaging winds and frequent lightning. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s, so even though we have a higher chance of rain today, it's still going to be hot and muggy with those temperatures reaching around 87 in Atlanta and Rome and Athens right around 86 in Covington. For tonight, the highest chance of rain will be about 7 o'clock. Then as we head into the evening and that sun sets, those rain chances will taper off, but certainly at least isolated storms continue through the evening. Tomorrow, another chance of rain. In fact, a 50% chance of showers tomorrow, 40% chance on Saturday. By Sunday, briefly they go down, but they go right back up next week as Cristobal approaches the U.S. Gulf Coast. I do have good news, and that is Cristobal has weakened. It is now a tropical depression with 35 mile an hour winds. It will continue to meander over Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, dumping up to 25 inches of rain. But as it turns north, it will re-intensify as it moves over over the Gulf of Mexico, expected to become a tropical storm once again as it makes landfall late this weekend, early next week as a tropical storm. It will dump very heavy rainfall along the Gulf Coast, but we'll see heavy downpours across South Georgia as well. Most models now coming together to bring that system over Louisiana, but as you can see, the heavy downpours on the right side of the storm. So very heavy rain over the Florida Panhandle, could see up to an inch to two inches over Georgia, and it does mean some heavy downpours for us as well, especially on Wednesday of next week.